Welcome back, guys and girls. This is Doc Goblin. We're gonna finish off this stage. This what appears to be the last stage of Life Off Chainsaw in this video. I meant to get to this a little bit sooner, but I just kind of got busy with a few things. But no matter, we're back into it now. We're gonna run through it. And I will have finished my first Let's Play very soon. You're awful good at this, Juliet. You sure you just took a pole dance class? Yes, Sensei Morikawa taught He also showed me some great lap dance moves. What? I actually just saw somebody had commented on the most recent video saying, you know, when's the next video gonna come out? And, uh, so I decided to really get right to it for you guys. And I'm liking the support and the subscriptions. We're up to just over 50 subscribers at the time of this recording and that's really been pretty awesome so pretty happy about that And it really feels like we're on the home stretch here. I think we're just gonna be running through and killing tons of zombies until we get to our our last dark purveyor. Alright, so we have just a ton of guys with the uh, little boombox action going on, powering up these guys. I'm gonna try and take them all out from up here, so that I don't have to fight these zombies that are all powered up. But it's looking like I'm not going to be able to get that last one. So maybe I'll see what I can do to clear out some of the zombies down there before I jump down. I don't know if that explosive barrel will bring that area down, if that's what you're supposed to do, or if that's for zombies. I kind of want to save it in case a bunch more pops out. I'm just not sure. So I guess we're going to jump into it. Oh, this is awful. Oh my god, I can't see this. And we'll just use our special here to finish them off. Yeah, there's actually another radio person over here, so it really wouldn't have mattered too much. We couldn't take them all out from the line of sight that I had. So I know I've been all over the place about kind of what I want to do next, and obviously Witcher 2 and Dragon's Dogma are both going to get finished before I really start on anything else. And I know I've, managed, I've mentioned Final Fantasy X for a little bit, thinking, you know, I kind of want to do some Blitzball. But then I realized I've never played the international version with the Dark Aeons and all of that stuff, which would add a little bit of an extra experience to it for me since I haven't done all of that stuff before. So what I'm thinking now is I'll probably wait until I get my hands on a copy like that. And instead I've been kind of interested in replaying Dark Cloud, which is a game that I've never finished. But I'd like to go back to. It's a PlayStation 2 game. So I might look into checking that out. So you guys let me know what you think if that's a good idea. If you're interested. Whoa! 
gonna swing here with all these cops. And the big guys too. But the drop kick is still my favorite move. Oh, that was probably a mistake to grind out that big zombie. Yes. I guess it didn't take too long. Actually, I kind of wonder if I could have just been running through here and not really finishing these guys off. But. I guess it's too late now, I already fought everything. The room's being flooded with zombies. Somehow we need to flood the drain. Alright, so I think I see what we've got going on here. We get our supplies up and let those zombies blow themselves up. Basically, we got four pillars. And we just gotta cut them all down to make this little platform collapse onto the hole. And it's almost lucky that they are exploding zombies because they just kind of take care of themselves. You don't really have to fight off waves and waves of them. So you can't quite sneak in that that one real quick. So we'll just run around and let these guys blow up. Zombies use self-destruct. It wasn't very effective. Had to get that one in there. Just watching somebody else play uh, Black and White 2. Still in Japanese and all that. That didn't take very long at all. So I think I told you guys about having to drive out for a couple interviews and and that kind of stuff and that I had one that I think probably would have hired me and unfortunately it was one of those things where they wanted you to kind of walk around on your own and make sales and you know get paid off a of commission and pay your own gas to get around and just kind of bother passerbys and see if you can get them to buy that product or whatever they were doing and you know, I decided that really wasn't something that I really wanted to be doing next, so that kind of fell through. But it's not too bad. I have another interview Monday with a different place. This is heavy. bombing me out. Alright. Got a ton of zombies to deal with here. We're gonna hop in the middle and use our special and just get that sparkle hunting. Kick ass. It's a party. Kick ass. Not much really to say about this fight. Just I hope you had your special when you came in here. So otherwise you just would have been smashing a ton of zombies. Alright. Wow. Perfect. Cool. 
We're gonna die. Oh my god. If I had an ass, I'd be shooting all over everything right now. I would never tell anyone, Nick, because I love you so much. You know, it's really hard being a downer around you sometimes. It's like you bum out my bummer and transform into something good, and I hate it. You're adorable. Team Cell Blaster. Clean up these last few stragglers here. Hopefully we don't get another big group spawning. Juliet! I see it! Hold on to something! Here! I'll make sure you're protected from anything that gets in your way. Well, here I go. Good luck to both of you. Nick, you may not be the guy I'd pick for my daughter, but you're obviously the guy she'd pick for herself. And she's always been a hell of a lot smarter than me. Uh, thanks. All right, Gideon being as impressive as always has opened up our path. But we're gonna go ahead and max out our bullets and grab our lollipops and see if we need to do any shopping real quick before we jump down to what I assume is gonna have to be the final battle since we've had help from Cordelia and Rosalind and Gideon. So I think it is about that time. And I think I'm gonna leave this loading screen in just because you know, it's the first one that's been like different and cool. And we got Juliet falling down, sort of like Alice falling down the, the rabbit hole type deal going on here. So I liked it a good bit. That's one of the things that I like about this game: the little small touches they do, and different little screens and and things like that. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is incredible, Juliet. You actually made it. Fantastic! You! How could you do this? To our school! To the people we loved! What? Juliet! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look who it is. Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh, 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 Juliet. I've been getting so lonely since you've been wasting all my dark purveyors. Poor Lewis here is the only one left. And there's about to be none. Ah, cocky little whore. I like that. Bring it on, douchebag. I'm gonna F you up. I love your passion, babe. Looks like we can make beautiful death together! I've got a feeling when I start playing, you're just gonna die! Rock and roll is here to stay! You're not! Alright, let's do this. Imagine the first thing we gotta do is get him off that bike. Actually, I kind of wonder if it's drop kicking him. Well, I'm balancing him a little bit. It doesn't really seem like it's going to knock him off, though. Get a good couple hits in while he spins around here. 
much worse than this? Nothing. I... I'm not even gonna worry about these other little zombies. They're not moving too fast. Alright, let's take him down. Get our first cut in. And how did I know we were gonna have to deal with a flying flying zombie at the end here? Now let's go to the depths of hell! Oh, I guess maybe not. Looks like he's actually more of a transformer here. So the gun works alright, it's not amazing. He's got this crazy spray fire at us. So maybe if we can just dodge out of the way of an attack. We kind of go into close quarters after he stops doing all this. So that attack's not really that scary at all. He kind of swings really forward and so you just kind of go right underneath him. Oh. Accidental Nick. Wow, I'm trying to finish off the boss here. Maybe it'll let me finish him off with the popper. Oh, it looked like it was working for half a second. Now it's gone then. Alright, nothing to do but wait for that to go away. Luckily we didn't have a time limit to finish him there. Really, nothing much changed. He just got a little health back, and you have to finish him off twice in this form. All right, at least one more time. So he kind of has a charge and then he's stuck for a minute. He gets some hits in on him. And then just get out of the way before he does his spin attack. Actually, I was wondering, you might be able to use Chainsaw Dash to get close to him after he does that, so you're not, like, losing time. That one's got real well. Stop right next to us. Finish him off. We took care of one side. So I imagine we gotta cut off the other piece now. Geez, how many forms does this guy have? And actually, I just realized our final Dark Purveyor is named Lewis. What kind of anticlimactic 
name for a boss battle is that. No offense to any Lewis's out there. But, you know, I just don't expect to find... be fighting Lewis at the end, you know? Alright, is he... No, he's not gonna pop. He actually got full health back this time. Out, all right. And it still keeps coming. Jeez. Okay, now it's not time for fireworks just yet. We're, we're a little shorter. 4th of July. Alright. Rock and roll ain't here anymore. Isn't here anymore. <laughs> Woo! Oh, shaking going on. Space hair jerk! <laughs> Fantastic work, Juliet. You've done everything just as I hoped you would. Start to finish. Thanks for your cooperation. Now the real deal is fulfilled! <laughs> what? What are you talking about? You incredibly hot idiot. I told you. For the gates of hell to open, a ritual must be enacted. And you were part of it all along. I set this whole thing up, you fools! <laughs> now the ceremony has been completed! A pawn, you, had to sacrifice five pre-selected zombies, and they must utter the sacred words at the point of their deaths. Neus vita rege pro nefario coepto. Why? Why are you doing all of this? Because you're just like everyone else! You pretended to be different, but you're not! What? Me? Yes, Juliet! You! Bitch! is the end. The real end to everything. This school, this world, deserves to be destroyed. It rejected me. It ridiculed me. So I'll make this rotten world even more rotten. Rot away. Rot away. Rot. 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 So Fuck all of you. Your eternal screams of horror will be my pop music!
gates are open. It's the zombie of zombies. Killabilly. Yesterday, I stubbed my toe. I was like, this is the worst day ever. Yeah, not quite. Man, I almost forgot that the emo kid was the reason we were here. But we got a little interaction with him, and it looks like we have to okay, fight then. off the worst Elvis ever. So, but look at our ranking for this last stage. All A's. Very nice. I think that's the best we've done so far. But yeah, this has been the last stage of Lollipop Chainsaw. Obviously, we have one more final boss level. So, this is going to be the end of this episode, but the next episode should be up today as well. So, I will see you soon. This has been Doc Goblin and Lollipop Chainsaw.